we ought to do this car. What do you think? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're up in Northern California for cool April nights here in Redding. This is a really big show that draws nearly 2,000 cars to its main event on Saturday, but there's stuff that happens all week long leading up to it, including a cruise Friday night, pulls about 1,500 cars, and which, by the way, was an absolute blast. Everybody's having a good time. I'm having a good time. We got a perfect day, a killer setting, some unbelievable cars. I need to get rolling. Very nice car. Doug, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? <laughs> man, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm in a great show. This is, this is amazing. Yes. You know, you've been telling me about it for a few years, and, I, and, and I've heard from others, but I, I had to see it for myself. This is what year for you? 26 annual. And it's grown to a pretty massive size. Yes. What do you pull? Uh, we limit it to 2,000. We yeah. had 1,882 cars registered. 1882, pretty yes. darn close to 2000. Yeah. But it's, and, and this is Saturday, this is the big day. But you do stuff for a whole week leading Starts up. Starts off a week before, and we have uh, show and shines. The community really gets behind the whole show and shines and community events. So it's. Well, I'll tell you, the community sure gets behind it because it shuts down the town Friday night. You had this incredible cruise. We went, it was a blast. There's like 1,500 cars. They're just going round and round and round. Streets are lined with people. Everybody's having a good time. Pictures being taken, tires being smoked. It's just good, clean fun. So do people come from all over? For they do. Show? They do. We get uh, Washington, Oregon, Nevada. Uh, we've had some from Canada, Southern California. So we get cars from all over, Pacific Northwest. And there's a little bit of everything here, too. Yes. Uh, you know, certainly Rod and Custom. And there's some magnificent show cars. And there's some daily drivers. I mean, it's just everybody gets to play, apparently. They do. As long as they're street legal, they're in the show. <laughs> that, is that the one requirement? Right. It's, Man, I, I tell you, I've had, I've had an absolute blast. And cool April nights, but I'm telling you, the weather's fantastic. It is. And the area's fantastic, because we, yeah. we did a little bit of driving around, came a little early. You got Mount Shasta up yeah. the road, you got, you know, the, the Castle Crags and Burning Falls. I mean, this is a gorgeous part of the country, yes. too. Beautiful part. So you try and keep that a secret? Or yeah, you? well. Well, we're going to bust that wide yeah. open. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you know, there's, there's just so many cool cars here. I say we look at a few of them before we have to get too busy. Let's do that. All right, man. All right. Let's go. Eric, this is one low-down truck here. 67 Chev, right? Correct. Man, it's, this is a really nice job, and obviously some other people think it's a nice job too, because you're the t-shirt truck from a good guy's show. Yeah, that's correct. Man, it's named Tootsie? Yeah, the name comes from my mother. It's her, it was my her nickname. What an interesting color. I mean, it's it's really orange. Yes, it's orange. But it's kind of, it's kind of, Strange. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what it. What is it? So it's a uh, Dupont toner orange. So it's pretty much a toner for different colors. You know, what well, you pull out of the machine if you want to change the color of a red or uh -huh. or whatever. You've dropped it, obviously slammed it. Correct. But otherwise, it looks like a '67 Chev truck. I love the stock '67 to '72 bodies. I love the stock trim, and uh -huh. uh, I didn't want to change anything. So pretty serious uh, wheels on there too. The gold and, and chrome. They come that way, or did you paint them that way? Yeah, they were a solid polished wheel, and then we prepped them and painted them at the I, shop. I mean, I like that. I Thank like you. that look. It's Thank really you. Nice. Yeah. You know, you get to the interior, uh, you didn't change the dash too much either, really. The dash is bone stock. We didn't do anything to it other than change the AC. Uh -huh. um, and we also had uh, Dakota Digital get involved with this project and build the gauge cluster for us. The real interesting part about this interior is that it was all custom fiberglass. It was built by Marquez Design. Anybody can buy this kit now. Seriously? Yeah, wow. yeah anybody can. Wow. I mean, it's just clean. Thank you. you. Do, everything you do is so clean. And then back here, I mean, you've done a lot here, and it's very, it's very bright. Correct. <laughs> it's yeah. like extremely bright. I gotta watch it. Is it all polished stainless? Yeah, it's all polished stainless. It looks so clean, and you raised the bed. Which say ten inches? Ten inches. That must be hiding some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, with everything else looking this way, it's gotta be pretty cool. Does this lift up? Or yeah, this actually raises up. That's some serious work back there. Yes, yeah, very serious work. Quick change? Yeah, it's got a quick ten in it from Winters. Everything is stainless hardline. The brake line, no, the brake lines, the air lines that run the suspension, all the fuel lines, everything is stainless. I mean, this is a work of art. Yeah, it was a lot of work. It was, it was a lot yeah. of work. <laughs> I can bend any size stainless you want. <laughs> I got practice. <laughs> We're professionals now. This is amazing. You probably did an equally cool job under the hood. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Second Let's look. go look. 
wow okay so wow <laughs> that's a supercharged engine what do you got correct so this was a uh, 408 ls3 motor built by texas speed uh -huh. with a magnuson supercharger makes about 15 psi of boost what kind uh, of horse? 440 horsepower at the wheels on a conservative tune it's got about 850 in it at the wheels if we want wow it's and again it's just so magnificently clean thank you yeah all we, your stuff yeah, everything is hidden i tried to keep it as clean as i could all the wirings up underneath the inner fenders and we closed off the radiator core support i'm telling you a beautiful 67 chevy that's down and dirty thank you i appreciate down and it clean i should say <laughs> Thanks for, thank you for your time that's great man Well, Jay, this, this baby stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> this well, is I'm good. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> You're good with that. I'm to yeah. totally good with that. Yeah. Beautiful. 52 Buick Roadmaster wagon, right? Absolutely. This is unbelievable. And when I saw it, I said, oh, what a great custom paint job. Because I, but you're telling me this is an original color. Original color. What they call this? Peacock green. Jeez, I love it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's really a teal and it, boy, does it look good. <laughs> a lot of chrome, big toothy grill that Buick's always had. And these are fog lights. Are they, are they were they stock or were they like a period aftermarket? Period aftermarket add-on. You know, they look yep. great though. Yep. And they add, you know, they add a nice color to, you know, a compliment to this, to this peacock green. And of course you got a California black plate. Of course. So, so of course, <laughs> <laughs> of, of course I do. And they go, go, go well with that. Oh right. man, this is just, it's just awesome. And even your rack is a period aftermarket. Yep, came with the car. Came with the car. Yep. Holy God, I mean, it's just, and the four, <laughs> yeah, four uh, holders. ports, yeah, it's yep. a four holder, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wide, wide, uh, original yep. hubcaps too? Yes, original hubcaps. This is unbelievable. And yep. you haven't redone the wood? I did, you did refinish the, the wood, but that's, yep. sanded it down. But it's the original wood and everything. Yep, yep. Man, and that, you know, that all steel dash. All <laughs> steel, <laughs> There's yes. really very little cushion yeah. there. There's not any There's cushion. no cushion at all. And no seat belts. No, of course not. We it's, all lived through that. It was 19, yeah. Yeah, in those there, days, there The transistor go. radio, the old... Yep. Uh, brownie the, the camera. Brownie camera. What yep. a classic wicker picnic basket. Oh, jeez. Jay, yeah. I love this thing. And it's a Carter car pack rack, huh? Yep. Out of what, Oregon? Out of Oregon. It's just... Gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. just beautiful. It's just a beautiful car. I, it you know, is. all I did was fix what somebody had already designed. You've got everything original. Do you still have the straight eight? Yes. Oh, let's go look at that, baby. Okay. Ah, uh, the piano hood. <laughs> yes, it's heavy. It is. And they yep. open either side, right? Yep. The either side, correct. That's it. That's the straight eight. That's the straight eight. And this is the only year with a four barrel carburetor only on the Roadmaster, so that's a rare, rare piece wow. right there. Yeah, and then set off to the side, you yep. know, the manifold, intake manifold's over there. Yep. Jay, this is magnificent. 52 Buick Roadmaster Woody Wagon. Correct. I am in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Right. Beautiful. Leonard, great to see you yeah, again. Good to see you. Good to see you. A little, so, way, little ways from home. A little ways from home, yeah. So so it was of, of several years ago, but you had that radical 53 Studi and a 39 Ford, if I right, recall. Right, right, yeah. Place in Glendore. Beautiful cars. Thank you. So I'm tooling around here, and and I see I see this crazy setup, and, I, and from a distance I'm going, oh, you know, is that got, is that got two engines in it? No, <laughs> it's a cross ram. I can't believe it. So this is a Mopar cross ram setup, right. right? 59 to 61 Chrysler. The, the cross ram drew me in. But then I got looking at this, and that is one interesting suspension setup up here. Yeah, yeah semi-elliptical front springs. It's obviously custom made. Right. You know, kind of the half leaves. You've got the friction dampeners here right, too, right? Right, Yeah, they actually work very well. Obviously a low down drop axle, right. and she's not on air or anything. No, right? not, this is You it. wouldn't do that. No, no. <laughs> I can go over anything that's like this, but anything like that, I'm in trouble. Forget it. Yeah. Well, because in that grill, looks almost Packard. Yeah, the 33 Packard. But shortened down. down a whole right. bunch. The headlight buckets are like, really big i yeah. don't recognize them from they were custom made they were custom made, custom -made yeah, too. several different headlight buckets so if we've got the cross ram i'm going to assume that there's a mopar engine underneath yeah, that 440 out of a 67 charger that's a lot of horses for something that doesn't weigh probably 2,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah. I really should put a block under the accelerator. <laughs> those tires used to have tread on them. Yeah, okay, those are full, those are full tread tires. Now they're, now they're cheater slicks. Yeah, yeah. So a torque flight transmission? Yep, yeah, uh, manual shift. What's the body? It's a 29 Ford Roadster. It was an actual Roadster? Yeah, yeah, steel body. Wow, because you know, they, 
there, there's a lot more roadsters out there than they ever made. Yeah, yeah. They were, they oh, were yeah. made into roadsters, but this one started life as a roadster. Yeah, so yeah. she's all steel. Yeah. Is that a Studi dash? Yeah, 29 Studi uh, <laughs> Rockney, I think. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's just, it looks great. This looks dangerous. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I figured in this car, if, well, if I ever get to the point <laughs> where I, uh, if I come in contact with them, I'm in trouble anyway. So. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, real clean, yeah. nicely done, real subtle. Pinstriping, what are the taillights? Uh, they're uh, early Lincoln. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like, yeah, a, like, a, like, like a Zephyr. Zephyr. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And great looking. I mean, the cheater slicks. Yeah. Really. Got to go with that. Got to go yeah. with that. Oh, man. You did it again. Right. You got Thank a beautiful you. car. Thank you. The roadster bodied, cross ram, 440 powered monster hot rod. Beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're my hero. Thanks. So, Brandon, I'm tooling around in my golf cart. I see this monster, kind of caught my eye. Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind of caught my eye. I go, oh, great, it's an, in, it's an old Indy car, mm -hmm. which is certainly what it looks like, but it's really not. Mm -hmm. You created this thing, right? We this did. Was, this, and from just your head. Well, what got this car going was the fact that my friend wanted two engines in the car. 30s Indy cars had long hoods, yeah. so it just kind of complements. The reason we didn't put louvers or anything in the hoods is we wanted to have that mystery and design that a lot of 30s cars had back then. It's a crazy looking car, you know, and, and your cockpit, you know, looks period race too. I mean, you've got- Yes. Yeah, that was a, a big goal is to try every aspect of the car to try and make it seem like it's authentic 30s. Is it steel? Pretty much the whole car's aluminum aside from the grill, which is 36 four truck steel uh -huh. and then fiberglass tail. And then you got your, your, your push bars back here and everything. We wanted to actually use the car. And so we kind of felt like a racetrack would like to see some type of tow hook or push bar something. You have it plated. I mean, this thing's streetable? Well, <laughs> it is very, yeah. Well, yeah, it, actually it is registered authentic 37 Packard. Really? It has tail lights. It's wired for headlights that I can put on it anytime I want. And uh, we have driven on the road and we don't have too many problems with it. It's really pretty crazy. But then oh, you, you, and you alluded to it. I mean, the thing that caught my eye before is really the power plant, plural, power plants yeah. in this car. Let's go look at those. Sure, sure. Yeah, you see, that's what I saw earlier. I saw a Packard, okay, but I'm looking at two blocks. You actually yeah. have two engines in here. What do we got? So a Merlin wasn't in the budget. <laughs> and, and far too big for the chassis. One motor started as a 350, four yeah. bolt main. The other motor was a 400. Um, they're both been bored and stroked, so now they're like 377 or 383 and 410 or 411, right in that realm. So it's a little bit of... It's just whatever a, was laying around <laughs> and, you know, try to save the money and, they and, both and run use it and up. And they both work when you... They work great. Can you fire it up? Absolutely. All right, close it up and let's, uh, let's, let's hear this baby. All right. You know... That sort of sounds like an indie race car from the day. That was the point. Brandon, you got a wild Thank ride, you. man. Well, Jason, this is a cool little car. This is a uh, Datsun 510, is that right? What year? 69. So the 510, is that a car you've always kind of wanted? When I was 18, there's a there was a shop in San Jose that I frequented uh, when I had another car and the owner had a green version of this. And I was like, I want one of those. I had to have it, you know, <laughs> but it, it took a number of years, but finally. <laughs> but you finally did. She looks cool. I love the wheels too. What are they? They're Pana Sports. And you've obviously, I mean, she's dropped down. Is that a, so you've done something to the suspension or something's been done. Yeah, it's got uh, Troy Armish coilovers yeah. on all four corners. The interior has been changed. Those seats aren't original, right? No, they're actually out of uh, early 90s Honda Prelude. Oh, well, yeah. they go well. And then the whole place, the whole thing's been upholstered to match. Yeah, when I picked it up, I went ahead and recarpeted it and, you know, uh -huh. steering wheel shift knob and things so like that. So a few gauges added, but that would be the original speedometer and everything. That is the original speedometer. Kind of classic 69 look back here. Any other mods? I mean, there's a fuel cell in the back and uh, the battery located to the back, sway bars, bushings, all the typical, you know, go stuff. So with everything else has been done, the 510 engine was not really that much of a go fast engine. I bet you've done something there. Let's go look. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's a little different. Just a little. So, okay, so what am I looking at? You're looking at a SR20 DET. It's a two liter, four cylinder turbo. Dual overhead cam? It is. Is it really fast? I would think it'd be pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Uh, currently on moderate boost, about 16 PSI. It's making 317 rear wheels. 317 horsepower to the yeah. rear wheels of this car? Yep, and 310 foot pounds of torque. Whoa, and she doesn't weigh much, right? Uh, right around 2,100 pounds. Oh, <laughs> and with that suspension, this thing's gonna be a, a, an autocross monster. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, she's a cool car, 69 Datsun 510 
with a fire breathing engine in it. Yes. Very cool, Jason. Very cool. Thank you. I love it. Man, cool April nights is a blast, and Northern California is a great place to be in April. You ought to check this one out. <laughs>